Hey, um, yeah, I told you guys that, uh, well, hi, I'm Tony. I told you guys on my followers that, um, I would make a video if I got 15 questions. So, I ended up getting 17. So, here is number one. Um, why do you love Panic so much? Because they're unlike any other band that I ever heard of, and their personalities mixed with their talents and everything about the past and present members, um, basically, just all together, is basically why I love them. Just basically everything about them, you know, except for you know, the uh, the assholeness and douchiness of Ryan and John sometimes after this. Well, right after the split, you know, and uh, but everything else, I love them. So, uh, number two, do you like waffles? No, the only breakfast um, food I like is eggs and omelets, which are the same thing. Um, sausage, like breakfast sausage, and cereal. Not pancakes, not waffles, not anything weird like that. Um, three. Top panic songs, top five panic songs, and why? Um, Trade Mistakes, because that song has to do a lot with a situation between me and my friend, and it explains everything. Um, number two, Time to Dance, because when you're in a bad mood, it makes you in a good mood. Um, number three, Mad as Rabbits, because that's the best song off Pretty Odd, and it's one of my all time favorite songs ever. Um, number four, <sighs> Probably But It's Better If You Do, or Bill God Then We'll Talk, But It's Better If You Do, yeah, because, uh, I don't know, just, that song is really catchy, I guess, and I just love it. Um, number five, it's a tie between Stall Me and Memories. Um, Stall Me, I don't really know, just something about that song makes me have some weird feeling. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if it's a good or bad feeling, but I like it. Um, and Memories, because, well, that song just makes me want to cry, and it's really cute and really sad, and just, yeah. Um, when you discover new bands, how do you get yourself to like them? I usually, after I find one or two songs I like by them, go to their Wikipedia, or if they're not big enough to have a Wikipedia yet, I... YouTube them, somehow find out all the members' names and, like, who plays what and stuff, and then I go and download their discography and listen to the stuff that they do. Um, what in my life makes me happy? Music. Next question. Um, how do you feel about yourself physically and personality-wise? I hate myself physically, um, and... Personality-wise, I think I have a good personality. I'm a good friend. I'm trusting. I'm. Um, I have a good sense of humor. I think the only thing, basically, that turns people off from my personality is that I'm a little overbearing and I'm really opinionated. Um, eight. What's your first memory of? Uh, my first birthday. I remember sitting in my uh, like baby carriage thing and. Uh, my godmother, who's my cousin, picking me up out of it and, like, playing with me. And I remember the two clowns that were there. And that's part of the reason why I'm afraid of clowns now. Um, number nine, what sexual orientation are you? I'm straight, if you want to put a label on it. But I'm game for anything. You know, like, if I meet a girl and I fall in love with her, I'm not going to, like, be all insecure about myself and be like, oh, what am I going to do? No. And I'll just be like, yeah, I like a girl. What are you going to do about it? Um, and I've actually had a girlfriend before. Once. Um, but it didn't really work out. So, next. Uh, why do I like Fall Out Boy? I like Fall Out Boy because of their message. I mean, they're not the most talented band in the world. I mean, they're good. They're great. But... I mean, you can't compare them to, like, I don't know, like, the Beatles or, like, Led Zeppelin or something. Like, they're not great, great musicians. Um, but their lyrics are always relatable, 
even if they kind of do not make sense sometimes, like, metaphorically, they're relatable and stuff. Um, and I really like Patrick's voice. He has a really good voice, and he's cute. I love Patrick. Um, and they're all awesome guys. So, um, hold on, text message. Oops, forgot about that. Um, are you one of those girls that complains about her girl cramps all the time? Actually, no, because I am one of the lucky people in the world that usually don't get cramps. Um, basically what happens is, uh, TMI, just in case any guys are watching, I'm about to, uh, talk about periods here. Um, I get it, uh, on day one, day two, um, it's really, really bad, and I have to change my pad le or my tampon, like, uh, every, like, hour, if, th m maybe more than that sometimes. Um, and then day three, it goes back to how it is day one, and by day, the end of day four, it's done. Um, sometimes I do get cramps, and I just take a mite all and they go away, so. I mean, I don't really complain unless... They're really, really bad, and I don't have meds. <laughs> um, yeah, number 12, favorite food. Well, because I'm, like, full Italian, um, I'm a big Italian uh, food, like, uh, eater, I guess. Um, I like basically everything except seafood. Um, I love vegetables. And, uh, oh, that's my brother. He's being loud and obnoxious. Hold on. Yeah, you should have seen him on Saturday. Night. They're talking about Zach Alvinakis. Um, anyway, um, yeah, my favorite food. I like Mexican food too. So it's like it's like a three-way tie between tacos, string beans, and this dish my dad makes called chicken primavera. It's chicken, broccoli, and noodles all with Alfredo sauce mixed in a giant bowl, and you just eat it like that. It's super heavy. Super filling, but it's so fucking delicious. Um, number 13, the most selfless thing I've ever done. Um, today, I donated 13 inches of my hair to Locks of Love um, for some little girl or boy um, who has had cancer and got over it, but they don't have hair. And I think... I mean, at first I was really nervous, I was really scared, but as she was actually cutting my hair, I just thought to myself, like, I could be making some little girl or boy's day right now, and my hair's gonna grow back, theirs isn't. So, I mean, at, from the top of my head, I think that's the most selfless thing I've ever done. Um, why do I hate All Time Low? I don't hate All Time Low. I hate most of their fans, though. They have really annoying fans. Um... Jalex. I mean, I know Paddock fans aren't, you know, ones to talk. I mean, uh, Johnson Ryden, but, uh, we kind of have a little proof that Ryden existed. I mean, I mean, it may not have existed. I don't know. But, I mean, it's more realistic than Jalex. And every single picture with Alex and Jack, I think his name is, yeah, Alex and Jack together, it's like, oh my god, Jalex, just like some people do with Ferrard. Like, oh my god, Frank and Gerard are breathing the same air. Gerard, no. Um, basically, I don't like Alex's voice because he sounds like a little whiny emo bitch. Um, and, I don't know. They, they seem like they rip off every other band, every other pop rock band, so I just don't like them. Um, number 15, Ryan and John or Dallin and Ian? Neither. Um, I can't pick, because, they're, to me, Panic with Ryan and John and Panic with Dallin and Ian are two separate bands, kind of like Blink-182 and Plus 44. Same members, plus and minus some, you know? Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, in my mind, they're two different bands, so. I mean, I love Panic with Ryan and John, they were the best ever, and... It, uh, whenever I think Panic at the Disco, I'll think of them with Ryan and John. But I love Downey, and they're both talented, they're both awesome, and they're both the sweetest guys ever. And they seem to love what they're doing with Panic right now, and Panic seems to love them back. So, 
I mean, there's not anything more you can really ask for. Um, 16. This one's really funny. Um, do you think Brent Wilson is sexy? Wait, no. Do you think Brent Wilson is a sexy, flawless bitch and the best bassist out there? No. Um, Brent is, you know, I know obviously this is a joke, but Brent is, you know, I respect him. I never disliked him. But yeah, I will sit there and make McDonald's jokes about him, but, um... Flawless bitch goes to Spencer, and best bassist out there go. There, there's so many better bassists. Like, I mean, even this, even though this is like a joke question, just I love Brent, but I don't think he's a sexy, flawless bitch and the best bassist out there. All right, last but not least, favorite blogs. Jazzy hyphen says hyphen relax. She's one of my good Tumblr friends, and she's awesome, and her blog's awesome. Um, well, what is her new URL? She just changed it. It's raw sauce, but it's like Ross hyphen sauce, Frank in a fish tank. She's great. Um, Blink-182 Chick 41, you know, she's a good, uh, I guess you kind of call her a friend of mine on Tumblr. There's a bug. Uh, I got it. Um, uh, Shut up, dog. Um, no, go away. Sorry. Um, oh, there's so many good ones. Hold on, let me go check. Uh, um, one who never yawns. Luce is really good. Her blog's really good, and she's funny, and she's really nice too. Um, I don't know. Those are just some I can think of off the top of my head. Um. Uh, mm. um, yeah, that's all I can think of from right now. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good NCR blogs I follow, and, um, there are Panic fans too, most of them, and they're, they're really good, but I can't think of them off the top of my head, uh. Yeah, I'm kind of stupid. But, yeah, those are just a few, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a couple more blink ones. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. But, yeah, that's all the questions I got. So, I guess this is the end of the video. Goodbye.